Colonel Sanders is going to King of the Hammers, so needs to look a little bit prettier. First, we'll fix all the stuff that we broke last time we drove it, and then we'll throw this shiny new body on, and then go to King of the Hammers and send it. Will pulled the uh, transfer case reverse box thing out of the kernel, and uh, we found that this tab was uh, completely broken off from when the uh, drive shaft broke. On top of, you know, later making a new U-joint uh, yoke here, or, or welding anyone on, we gotta fix this. I forgot it was magnesium when I started welding to it. Welding magnesium with aluminum filler rod probably isn't the strongest, but... Yeah, no. Well, that mount is no more. It's been years since we built this thing and we get a lot of people asking what this is. It's a chain case from a Yamaha Apex snowmobile. The, the reason is just it was easy to find and I know it can hold the power and it has reverse. That's the whole point of this box is just to have reverse. So you can see all the gears are there. I had to take it completely apart to get out this shaft because I welded this U-joint yoke to this shaft and now I need to weld something else there. I've come up with a plan and I am gonna be able to replace these crappy like uh, tractor U-joints with some nice CV joints from one of the spare or broken rear axles that we had for this thing. I got my uh, CV joint drive shaft all finished up. Um, got the boots on, got some grease in there. Now, uh, time to see if I can finagle this whole thing in there. You'll notice uh, this is a different color than we had and it goes really well with this. Final, final piece of the puzzle here. Key. Vroom, vroom. What, it doesn't turn? What? I want my money back. and making it fit here. Conveniently, I'll have all the old pieces as a template to know where I need to cut and how much I need to cut. In some cases, I can even make it better than it was before. it would be a shame to throw away this body because it has so much history. Uh, so I'm gonna reassemble it and we'll hang it up on the wall somewhere. Plus, spare parts if we screw up any parts on that. You know, it'll just be mismatched colors. Oh yeah. That's its new home for sure. I'm so excited about this little Moab sticker that even though the part that it would have gone on isn't here, I'm gonna just put it on the dash. You know, passenger side GPS here. Just a little map of Moab. In 
typical Ethan fashion. Uh, you know, I rolled it already, so that was good. Just trying to get our little box shot, and I, uh, you know, ran into the snowbank in such a way that I tipped over. So that was fun. Super low speed, low consequence, not an issue, but, you know, that was a good exciting moment. <laughs> I don't think we broke anything, so that's good. Seems to be all good. Man, I really love this color though. It just looks so good. And I'm glad I didn't screw up the plastics. <laughs> I immediately rolled it. Time to see how the Colonel does in some deep snow, but we also got the Camaro going because we're taking that to King of the Hammers as well. We're gonna rip around with all three of them and have some fun. even any brakes when you do have traction. I was so close to drifting to Ethan that when he, I could tell that he was gonna slide out and go up. So I turned the other way and just tapped the brake just enough to initiate the drift away from him. That was a close one. <laughs> and if any of us, this is so much wider, I think if someone's getting tipped over from a collision, it's me. <laughs> how when you're talking to older people that don't have good hearing they're like oh yeah I was a construction worker all those years and the sounds just wrecked my hearing for me it's just gonna all come down to this one moment it's that one day where I was trying 360 drifts over and over again in the Camaro which is why I can't hear anymore in my 50s with these this and look how much padding is in here it is just not cool. We need to put some kind of muffler on there. But that was sick, dude. Surprisingly, that thing feels smooth. You hit these giant bumps and it just like takes it. When we long travel that thing and fix the steering and make it a little quieter, beautiful things are gonna happen. We have randomly selected the winner for the Banshee. And uh, rather than tell everybody who it is right now, we're gonna get this thing all shined up and then we're gonna track down this person's friends and go surprise them with the Banshee. You know, maybe meet them at some sand dunes or a, you know, off-road park. Their friends take them there and they're like, hey, let's go riding so-and-so. And then they just, you know, see us ripping around on this on the trail and then we're like, hey, this is your Banshee. So we're gonna do a whole thing about it. But the point is we've, we've selected the winner, we're giving it away. And now we just have to do all the logistics of making that happen. And uh, 
you know, a few more little tweaks on this. We want it to be running absolutely perfect. Uh, we just put new uh, Weissco pistons, rings, and gaskets in it. So that's all good to go. We're going to uh, get some fresh carburetors on there. Um, just little things that we didn't get to when we, uh, you know, rebuilt everything else. Because we don't want anyone to have problems with it when we give it away. Um, oh, and we have the new Fox shock on the rear. It's, you can't really see it, but it's super minty. Um, so now it's got Fox shocks all the way around. It's a beast!